Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the truncate table cascade feature added in Oracle 12.1. We create a parent table called T1 with a primary key constraint on the ID column. We create a similar child table called T2 with a foreign key constraint pointing to the primary key of the T1 table. Notice the constraint includes the on delete cascade clause. We create a third table called T3 that's a child of the T2 table. It has a foreign key constraint pointing to the primary key of the T2 table. This constraint also includes the on delete cascade clause. We insert some data into each table. A single row into the first table. Two rows into the second table, the first row points to the row in the T1 table, the second row has null in the foreign key column, so it has no parent. We also insert two rows into the third table, the first row points to the first row in the T2 table, this is now a child row of a child row in T2. The second row has a null in the foreign key column, so it has no parent. We display the number of rows in each table. First we demonstrate the delete cascade functionality. For a delete, the cascade keyword is not necessary. We can see this has deleted one row from each table. The parent row from the T1 table, the child row from the T2 table, and the child row of a child row from the T3 table. A delete statement is DML, so we can roll back the statement to return the data. A conventional truncate of the T1 table results in an error. We can't truncate the T1 table because it's referenced by enabled foreign keys. Adding the cascade keyword tells the database to not only truncate the T1 table, but also truncate tables referencing it with an on delete cascade foreign key constraint. This means the T2 table will also be truncated. Since the T2 table is in turn referenced by the T3 table, with an on delete cascade foreign key constraint, the T3 table will also be truncated. As usual, the truncate statement removes all data, including those rows that were not referencing the parent tables. Truncate is a DDL command, which has an implicit commit so we can't roll back the truncate. The truncate table cascade command is a small but useful quality of life feature. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.